here I am Out on the streets with my head in my hands I've got no plans Only to see you again Don't get me wrong Sometimes I like being kicked on the ground I'm not that strong But then I come to my senses With the scar on his face It's a charade It's just the way you've been living Yeah I'm coming You can feel my power And I feel what is real When she feels it Hi everyone, Dan here, and I just wanted to put a little snippet about Astroworld and what we do because I want to start getting the word out because I think it's becoming more and more of a, a giant community and I want to get the word out to some other people. So what we do at Astroworld is 
We do hold, we hold uh, astrophotography chats on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And we just talk astrophotography. Wednesday's more of a techie kind of advanced and intermediate, and Fridays is more of a newbie kind of thing. So if you want to check us out and if you want to, you know, hang out with some semi-decent people that like to go off the rails a little bit and have fun while they're doing it, um, come check us out at astroworldweb.com and you can check out the schedule and you can sign up for all the free giveaways that we do. We just gave away an Eagle 4 Pro, an Optolong filter kit, um, uh, Charles Brackenstein's books and a whole bunch of other stuff. So come to astroworldweb.com, hang out with us, have a good time. And as always, remember to keep imaging, keep educating and clear skies. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.
go on my telescope now. Yeah, what's wrong with this thing? for the next solar eclipse October annular eclipse up oh. <laughs> don't 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 let your glasses fall off when there's a solar eclipse you might hurt yourself let's try that again are you ready for the next solar eclipse are you ready for it October 14th this year is an annular eclipse followed by April another total solar eclipse and you can get your own branded Astro World Telescope Solar Glasses made by American Paper Optics today on the website, astroworldtelescopes.com, or give me a call, 516-273-3771, and we can get you a set of four of these 
for $9.99. Come on down again, astraltelescopes.com and keep imaging as long as you don't have a solar shade on. <laughs> keep educating in clear skies and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Sunny skies, the smell of palm tree air. Looking back, I could never feel fair. The way the music has touched my soul. The way that the south holds its control. But I've got a new way, a new way to choose. I'm gonna start running back to the lands of the new. It's got to mean something. It's got to. With my head in my hands I've got no plans Only to see you again Don't get me wrong Sometimes I like being kicked on the ground I'm not that strong But then I come to my senses
think we're good. Do we have audio? I think we have audio. Yeah, because I'm a little backwards tonight, everybody. Everything is packed for Neve. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. all right, cool. Yeah, everything is packed for Neve. So if you see a little difference with everything, with the, so the way the setup and the mics and everything and all that kind of stuff is the, sh the shelves look bare behind you. The, sh the shelves are empty. the shelves are almost <laughs> empty. You know, yeah. so it's it's all packed and ready to go. Um, I got I got a bunch of stuff. I got uh, let's see, I got Plan One. I got Wonder Astro. I got QHY, ZWO, um, some optics. The, the last of your ZWO crap. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I, I, I you know what? I, I'm probably gonna bring whatever's left, but um, I don't know. I don't know. I got two filter wheels sitting here that that are pretty lonely. Um, so I, I don't know. I might I might just bring those, throw them in a box. Right? But I don't know if I, I I might you know I'm just looking to buy a trailer hitch for my Rav Four because oh yeah you know you know and and rent one of those U-Haul storage cargo trailers thing mm -hmm. instead of renting a truck because the truck yep. they wanted to charge me like like five hundred dollars for a weekend or something like that for the truck. Okay. And for, for it's going to cost me five hundred dollars to do a trailer hitch and rent the trailer. So why not just get the trailer? Oh, it's going to cost me about. And the trailer hitch you get to keep. Yeah, the trailer hitch I get to keep, and then all I have to do is rent the the trailer is like, I think the the trailer is like something like fifty dollars a day, as opposed to one hundred and fifty dollars a day. So, so. What about the closet of death? The closet of death is still here. It's still there. It's 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 somewhat empty. I'm bringing some stuff with me. And again, I'm sorry my, if you hear my dogs in the background. I apologize. And my noise gate is off because it's, the mic is not there. So you, you, you know, it's kind of a mess. But um, but we're getting ready for Neef. And uh, Eric, how you feeling? It's not I too wouldn't too wish good. this on any. I don't. I don't wish this on any man, <laughs> on anyone. I really don't. <laughs> no, it's that sucks. It's 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 it stinks. But <sighs> what are you gonna do? I mean, hopefully, I'll be able to have another surgery, and if, you know, when I get back, I'll go see my orthopedic surgeon, and maybe I'll have another surgery within the next month or so. We'll see. Eric, so, your tattoo is gone. What tattoo? What? Uh, I don't know what he's talking okay. about. <laughs> what, you, my shine? You, oh, I'm sorry. Do you want you want the tattoo back? My shine. Do you want the, I, I can shine. make the tattoo come back. Oh, God, no. Please don't. <laughs> Here you go. You ready? Here comes the tattoo. You ready? Uh, oh, no, that's not. Yeah, that'll work. There you go. So do that. Oh, and Lord. then we'll do... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Where oh, you're killing me. You're killing there me. There you go. There you go. There's a tattoo. The tattoo's back. There you go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the little hole. Wow. It's like, it's like I'm pixelating and I'm disappearing. You know? <laughs> I'm disappearing into the nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So I, I, I literally I literally have so much stuff packed that I don't know what I'm going to do with. Uh, I have my buddy Chris, who's who's has an SUV that's helping me drive some stuff up there. Now, everybody's gonna have to buy a lot of stuff because I don't want to bring it back because I want to ruin the car. <laughs> so, so, uh, so, um, you know, I, you know, I, I, I might be bringing too much stuff. I just don't know what to expect on the first one with the the first one with the actual product. I don't know what to expect. Right, right. You know, so I. I you know, I don't, I don't want to bring too much, where I'm, which I'm probably doing anyway. But my wife is freaking out because the whole living room is filled with shit. But um, <laughs> right, right, right. But I'm, I'm bringing, you know, a couple of telescopes. I'm bringing some of my telescopes. I'm bringing, please, somebody buy my EQ6R. I don't want to have to bring that back. Um, I'm selling that. I'm selling my Red Cat. Um Dan's video is like two to three seconds. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit screwed up the latency on this webcam. I'm sorry. Um that's not the way you know it normally is set up. Um but uh I, I apologize about that. Just gonna have to deal with it for this one. We'll we'll get back to business on, on Wednesday. Yeah, get back to business on um next week, but uh 
yeah, it's been um, it's been a very interesting few days. Um, I was telling Dave and Dan, you know, I'm relegated to a cane right now because it's just my enti- my my left side. It's like the it's like totally painful. The, the nerves, the nerve, the sciatic nerve is gone. Like on my total, my left side, all the way down to down my left leg, down to my foot, to the bottom of my foot. So, jeez. And I just got an epidural yesterday, but I that's going to take some time to kick in. That takes the, the epidurals take a while to kick in. They take they could take about a is week. That, or so. Is that the first one you got, or that that's the second one you got? That's the second one I got. That's the second one you got. How long did yep. it take the first one to kick in? To to finally get relief? Yeah, it's about yeah oh. about a week. About a and week you got it yesterday, days. and I just got this yesterday. So, so. let's see. So that means uh, Friday you're going to be a mess. So, so, so probably. So we'll see. Yeah, it's a massive bummer. Uh, it's just one of those things, and you know, you can lift. I could lift ten pounds, and that, and then it throws out and it herniates the disc, right? So it doesn't matter. Uh, I, so, I, I, um, I seriously. I'm from from a selfish point of view, I really hope you make it, or else I'm going to get my ass kicked. But uh, you know, yeah, I you know, know. I but, know. Uh, that's what that's what I was saying. At least you know, I'll bring. I'll, I'll you know what? I'll, I'll bring this. You know, I'll bring my, I'll bring my butt cushion with me. <laughs> that, and listen, you know, you know, if I have you by the register, just ringing stuff up and talking to people and being yourself, oh, I'll yeah. be a happy person. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, that's why, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, I'll just talk to people, ring, you know, we'll ring, I'll ring stuff up, you know, and all of that stuff. So, yeah, and no Chris problem. will be there to help you with the ringing stuff up and, you know, I'll be running around and uh, and uh, uh, Matt Draxler said he's going to, so if anybody can give us a hand, um, am I bringing cameras to me? Like what kind of cameras? Are we talking cameras for a show or cameras for, Astro Energy, because I'm bringing both. I'll be having two lovely women taking some pictures and videos, uh, my wife and a friend of mine. <laughs> so, uh, mm-hmm. um, and uh, they're going to be doing so. I'm going to try and see if I could steal one of them for Sunday, too, because I don't think Jen could make it on Sunday because she's getting ready for really a, a trial, which is not winnable, and she's not looking forward to it. But, um, you know, but it, it is what it is. And I'm um, hoping I can grab the other one so maybe she could come drive back up on Sunday to just even help out and be, be a cheerleader, if anything. So don't take all of your sea stars. Remember, I'm grabbing one this Friday for my wife. I am grabbing all of them, but one of them is yours. So um, <laughs> yours will be the display model. <laughs> you yeah. want me to, I, I'm sorry, do you want me to hold it or? Are you, are you, am I shipping this to you? Are you not coming to Neath? Should I leave it here? Because I have no problems leaving it here because I'm bringing too much crap already. So, yes, Ernest, I know. Oh, Ernest, so, so yeah, so I'm shipping it to you. So I will leave it here. All right, Ernest. Yeah, yeah Tom, the plane ride is not going to be fun. So. It's not, you know, so I'm probably going to get like some sort of. Um, courtesy, you know, like wheelchair service or like the tram service. Hell um, yeah. You know, Hell so yeah. I can just Use sit on the up. butt and just let it take me everywhere. First one on the plane. Hell yeah. yeah first one I'm on, first, first one off, right? I'm, yeah, I'm going to uh, spend the money. One, last one off, Last one off, last one off right? Yeah. Unless you upgrade to uh, first class. Yeah, yeah. No, but I'm probably going to spend like the extra money on the um, closer seating, you know, aisle seat, get an aisle seat and try to be like one of the first off and all that stuff. So I'll pay the extra. You'll be there Friday around three. Hey, Jackie, if you want to come in on Friday. um, Yeah, because I'm not going to get in until Friday night. And help set up and move some things around. I can get a female's point of view, I guess, (laughs) you know. You know, I um, want I um, want to put it because I'm just gonna throw crap all over the place. Uh, and, uh, you know, I uh, you know you know I, I got some stuff to make things fluffy and pretty and stuff like that. 
But um, if you if you want to come down, I you could I I could grab one of the uh, I'll just tell you what name to be, and you could grab one of the other girls' name tags for a little bit. <laughs> so you was, so you could be you could be Jennifer. He's gonna he's gonna need your help, Jackie, for sure. Uh, see see no 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 respect for my elders. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but yeah, if you could be you could be Jennifer. Okay, that's my wife's name. You could be Jennifer Higgins. Yeah. But yeah, you're more than happy to come down and uh, and uh, help help set up. Yeah, Chris, um, I'm hoping for surgery. Hopefully, I'm hoping they'll do the same thing they did for my for my neck, my cervical. That they'll do for my lumbar, which is a disc replacement. I don't want to get a fusion. Just I want to get a disc, an actual disc replacement. So, and that's what we've been talking about. Me and my orthopedic surgeon, we talked about that a few times because that would be much, much better. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, I mean, a friend and of mine then, has three of his neck bones fused. Yeah. And he can't, he's got a. Yeah, the range of yeah. motion's not there. He's got to turn his body like this or like that. It's different with the neck because you're, but your lumbar, I mean, you're not playing sports or anything and going out doing crazy. No, no, you're not doing anything. Fusing a couple lumbar together is a lot better than the neck, obviously. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. The lumbar, you know, it's, you know, you can fuse a couple of those together and it's not as big a deal as long as you're not playing sports and stuff like that. Right, right, right. So, oh, you yeah, know, you, so you, you gotta they, take, you gotta take up the sports the that are, you know, not a lot of motion, like uh, yeah. darts and pool <laughs> and <laughs> stuff like that. Billiards, uh, Billiards you know, that's fine. Yeah, no, nah, because I'm gonna probably get in a pickle cornhole. You know, I, used, I, used to play, I used to play tennis when I was younger, so I'm probably gonna get in a pickleball. So, I need my range of motion, especially gotcha. for golf. I need my range of motion for golf. You don't play golf. I mean, I don't play golf. Yeah, I play golf. You don't play it's golf. Awesome. See? You play golf? Yeah. And I don't do it just on VR, bro. It's, I do, you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm like Chevy, you know? It's all <laughs> in here. Yeah, very, take up cribbage. <laughs> oh, man, so, we, should all, we should all play around. We can be that. Let's uh, do it. Let's do it. No, it's that yeah, time of year. You know, when I'm back in, you know, when I'm back in it, then, yeah. When I'm back we can meet game. somewhere. So Dave's from the Washington area. I'm from New York. You're from Chicago. We'll meet somewhere in like Ohio. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Jack Nichols has a very popular course in Ohio, doesn't he? I, I, well, I went to play I, the mo- in the Memorial up in Ohio. Yeah, yep. They yep. play the Memorial up there. Yep. I I, I did uh, I did the Slammer and the Squire down in Florida. And okay. uh, that's Jack Nicholson and uh, Tom Arnold's. I did um, uh, not Tom Arnold, not Tom Arnold, the other Arnold, Arnold Palmer, uh, Arnold Palmer, Arnold Palmer, yeah, Tom Arnold, Tom Arnold, <laughs> Tom Arnold. Jesus. Arnold Palmer. Wow. I had one at the World Golf Village that, when I was there, and I also played. I played. I played seventeen on Sawgrass. Oh yeah, did you? That's yes, cool. I did. I oh man, I I did you put it on the green. I got yeah. At the I, I was like I was like uh, ten cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it took a few to get it on there. Yeah. Give me another ball. There, huh? <laughs> I think it took me like twenty shots to get it on the green. <laughs> you know, oh, so. wow. oh, wow. it's just an easy nine iron. It, no, it's not even. It's not even that it's far or difficult. It's there's a there's a wind factor yeah. in there, yeah. and it's yeah. it's different. Now it's it's it's. Probably, and you know what, and and it's like an island green kind of, because if you don't get it on the top, it will just roll back, just like tin cup. It'll roll back right, in, right in the water. So, but uh, <laughs> Jackie, I hit a golf ball with a baseball bat once. Man, that sucker flew. <laughs> I'm, done, oh, I'm done yeah, that. They do. I'm yeah. done that. Oh, especially, yeah. in, especially in aluminum. Oh batter. man, and the oh, sound it makes is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I used to do that when we were kids. So, oh, so yeah, I um, I'm, I've got to take a, I'm gonna probably take apart the uh, shed, and 
got to redo it because there are certain parts of parts of the wall they're not perfectly level with each other you still you know, so, I'm getting a cut push. <clears throat> so I'm getting a bunch of you know when I'm rolling the uh, clamshell oh, it's, it's catching it's oh, catching gotcha, you know, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha. so I'm gonna once I get this whole surgery and stuff done once I'm back to you know 90 98 percent then yeah I'll be taking that sucker apart because yeah. I reached out to um Wayne and we were talking a little bit about it because I'm actually gonna probably end up moving um the pod and taking out my you know taking out the concrete and getting rid of you know moving my pier further west because yeah, you were, you were saying I've that had, with the uh the lineup right yeah because the way it's all lined up um it's not the greatest let me see here I can give you an idea here. There we go. We share this so everybody can get a rough idea of what we're talking, what I'm talking about here. So if you guys can see that, there's the pod. Nope, can't see it. See your head. Red five standing oh. by. Oh shit! <laughs> Here we go. Like, oh, we're on Google Earth. <laughs> I can't. I can't see him. <laughs> so that's where the pod is. What? Is right okay. Here. All right. Oh, you got a nice so, little plot of land. I mean, everything's like close together, like uh, like Long Island. But I mean, it's like, uh, you know, you got you got a nice little spot there. Yeah. So, so if you can see that this maple just yep. blocks east. Yeah. So I'm going to have. So I'm going to end up moving the, you know, moving the pod and everything go. probably around. Yeah, go area. the West Said. Yep. <laughs> probably going to head this way. What are you going to do with because, that nice walkway you made? <laughs> oh, I'm going to have the landscapers then curve it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of all of this and then we'll and curve it. Put a little fire now. pit. Put a little fire pit where the existing one is. Yeah, right next to that big well, right, maple. Yeah, I, I, I would, but my, I got to. I'll, I'll take would, care of that maple. maple. <laughs> right yeah. yeah, that maple's going to catch fire. Oops. But. Oops. Oh. Now that's a fire. Yeah, but I've got yeah, but I got my uh, I actually got my fire pit right over here. So oh, okay. nice, nice. Right. How big is that plot, Thanks. Eric? It's a it's a it's a quarter acre. The no, whole house, it's yeah. got to be more than that. No, no, our here um, in these in these subdivisions, these are all quarter acre. Unless you get to the corner, and it's maybe a little bit more. Oh, quarter quarter acre. A uh, quarter acre. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. so quarter acre. For, yeah, so the whole thing is a quarter acre. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm, I'm about so my, my plot's like half lot. that. My plot ends where your observatory starts, pretty much. Yeah. Oh my wow. My plot's got about my plot's got about a hundred of those maples and tall pine trees all around it. So. Oh yeah. You see, like your whole yeah. back row of trees there. Yeah. Yep. See, my my back row. I don't know how how deep that is. That's probably about. 150 feet maybe 200 feet mm -hmm. i had a hundred feet feet of forsythias back there oh gosh it took me eight years but they're all gone now <laughs> <laughs> they're all yeah. gone now. these are all yeah these are all japanese willows here so they can they they don't get super they're about they get about uh nine to ten feet no, okay, so that's not so. It's not bad. super bad, but um, no, which yeah, way but I'm gonna facing, which, which, which way is that facing? This is north. I face okay, north, so, that's so due north. north. Okay, so that's due north, south. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, your, your your stuff is exactly the same facing way as mine. My my back of my plot, right where your trees are, yep. that's my north too. Yep. So, the south is okay. over the house. Same exact same exact setup. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna move. Except, so I'm gonna get except the land. I'm right gonna get the across your place. tree line is about uh -huh. I don't know about 17 telephone wires, 
and going from the tree line down from to the south coming on the west side mm -hmm. has another five phone lines and power lines <laughs> so gotcha wow yeah so this is yeah so yeah this is my spot so with the decks and the hot tub and the fire pit and the observatory and i'm gonna move that sucker right nice. probably right smack over here nice like right around here because if i go too far then i'm definitely the house will block because this is the second floor here and it'll block west even more so so at least here i can get south pretty good and i can get at least around uh i can get every, anything 26 degrees or higher from the south nice. and you know then i've got all the north open yep. to me so yeah so sean's in the chat looks like sure so, so, so we're sean. setting we're setting up something at neve right i got this thing with an ipad and a bluetooth speaker right and okay. we're going to be doing a zoom meeting and every okay. once in a while it'll be come see sean see if you can catch him and uh <laughs> so so they'll be able to see you he'll be able to see them and he can say hi to the people that says hi to him <laughs> so, okay so. So we're going to see how, how that works out. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Tom, I know. Yeah, you yeah. Yeah, you got some serious trees, you know, over in your spot for sure. So. So um, were we supposed to do picture of the week tonight or? Uh, no, it... no. Um, the voting has started for picture of the week. So are you going to vote for two? So okay. you're gonna vote for you're gonna vote for your favorite, and the top two are going to win. Um, as a matter of fact, I, need, I think I may need to change that. In. Maybe have that choose. You can choose two. Yeah, you, you, two oh, yeah, you should be able to choose two. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and do that here really quick. Because and let it yeah, let you to choose. I just wanted to make sure because I got to be honest with you. I got about 20 minutes left in me and then I got to crash. <laughs> oh, I hear you. I hear you. Because actually I can't even crash. I got to pack more stuff and I got to eat dinner. I haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> I literally have not eaten dinner yet. I had a half a bag of pretzels. Islanders are really trying to blow this game. It's now 3-2. So I'm looking really forward to Neve. I'm looking I'm forward to, I know I, I spoke to Tom Bramwell and he's looking forward to make, be making this big, big uh, super booth. And um, we'll, right on. We'll, we'll be there with, uh, with the Lavazza and the, uh, the, the, um, the espresso machine, of course. Um, that's going to be kind of cool. And uh okay. Look, looking forward to meeting everybody again and hanging out again and uh hopefully everybody takes a look at some stuff and you know realizes that we're not only a show we're a dealer as well and uh mm -hmm. it's going to be our first one that we're really actually promoting both astral tv and astral telescopes and astral world telescope yeah so so, so I, I just updated the poll so now Anybody who's already voted, I think you can go back now and vote for one more. Cool. So, so you'd be able to vote for your top two choices. Yeah, I'll be. I'll have a big banner on top for both. One for Astral TV on okay. one side, one for Astral Telescopes on the other. Big, bright orange, not like last year that it was all black. It's going to be really like standing out. The, the, oh, it's going to stand it's out. It's going to be the nice. if you guys have followed. You know the, the evolution of of the logos over the years you know we had the original um red telescope that i kind of cropped myself with the globe on the bottom with the script astral tv and everything was black and things became more darker as we went on and then jen came up with something like like this kind of color and that's pretty much what we stuck with so so this is going to be the color of the banner with the same 
you know, star, you know, real brighter in the center. And one says actual telescopes, one says actual TV, and the bottom are all QR codes for each individual thing. So all you got to do is take a picture of the banner if you want to find out what's uh, either astral TV or astral telescopes. It's going to be pretty cool. Nice. And I'll have a uh, I'll have a um, a stand up kind of sign and stuff. It's it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be cool. cool. Four tape. We got four tables because I bought two more tables. Um, okay. Um, just to with a kind of oh, walk boy. through. Yeah. So around the last year, it got annoying. You know. If we have the tables in the front, you know what I mean? It got annoying. I'd rather people just look at stuff. Try to refresh, Jackie, because I just did it. And yeah, it won't let you vote more than twice. <clears throat> so you're two tops. Because <clears throat> we're going to take the top two winners. So. Oh, man. <sighs> so, yeah, we got some really cool eclipse shots uh, for image of the week. In matter of fact, well, I'm going to go and share those really quick. Sure. Yeah, go right ahead. So everybody sees those. So, as we can recall, last April, you know, on the 5th, we had Dave and Tom taking, you know, the first week of April on their M51 collaboration. So now. Oh, it's Eclipse Week. Oh, yeah. yeah. We got Eclipse Week. So we have Jackie's 2024 totality. And we have another totality by Greg Meyer. And we have. A composite also by Greg. And then I go against the grain. And last but certainly not <laughs> least, we have Dave's Leo Trio. Because it is still galaxy season. It is. It yeah. is. It is still galaxy season. So let me see here if it's going to refresh for me. Yeah. Okay, so, so far we've got eight votes. All right. Yeah. So. And when, when, will the, when will the winner be announced? We're going to announce the winner not next Friday, but the following Wednesday. Okay, the following. I knew it was a Wednesday. That's what I got. Yeah, we're right. not gonna. We're not gonna. It's not gonna be this Friday because we'll be at Neve. Right. So we're gonna announce it on Wednesday. I knew it was a Wednesday. I just lost a week somewhere. Yeah. So let me go ahead. Stop that. Cool. Oh my goodness, excuse me, I apologize. Yeah. Break. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, being galaxy season and all. Um, now that we are past the eclipse, and I'm, thanks to everybody for submitting your eclipse photos. It was, you know, one for the one for the history books, but now we're back in the galaxy season. So we had Dave's Leo Trio. Um, we have I'm gonna be working on <clears throat> my next blog post, which is going to be about galaxy season and stuff like that. But I'm going to focus more on uh, galaxy groups. So right now, like Dave, he did the Leo Trio. I just finished, but I'm going to probably add some more luminance as we were talking before to the Draco Trio. And then I'm also working on Hickson 44. <laughs> nice. So once Hickson 44 is done, then I'll swap out cameras, go to the 2600. And then I'll go for my own Leo trio and stuff. So trying to get these these galaxies as much as quickly as can, you know? Yeah. Well, now, now that I've found my, my beach permit, um, just uh, hopefully that after Neve, things will start to relax for me. Not as, yeah. you know, I mean, I got a lot of stuff going on as far as classes that I've been teaching and stuff like that. It's that time of year. So, um, hey. You know, it's going to be a lot of fun again. It's going to be a, a blast, of course. So, yeah. For light polluted skies, Ernest, um, what's the best filter to use? 
are we talking um, multiband, you know, narrowband, multiband, or are we talking just light pollution reduction? So, yeah, are you talking one shot color or? Yeah, monitor? yeah, big difference. Yeah, because that's a big difference. You're talking it's a one shot color multi narrowband, or are you talking just straight LPR? <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, if it's one shot color, I mean, some sort of dual band. Yeah, yeah, but so if you live in a portal seven, targets, you live in a portal if you're doing seven galaxies, you're, if you're doing galaxies, it's so hard. Because... If you're doing galaxies, your only recourse in a portal seven eights, guys, in my opinion, I, and people are gonna hate me for saying this, um, is you gotta go to, you gotta go mono, you gotta go mono. Yeah. Because and each of the individual color filters exactly. are exactly you, you get some inherent protection filter. from light pollution. So, you know, right. you're only letting a third of the light in, right? Or technically, yeah. but yeah. you know, yeah. it's right. not technically a third, but you know, it's it's you're letting one third of the spectrum through. But that spectrum I mean? so, so um it's you You've get some inherent light pollution shot. unless um, until you start shooting luminance and then you kind of gotta go somewhere a little darker. Um yep. and then so you got you do your R, your G, your B. Now, now when you're doing one shot color, when you're in a Bortle seven eight like I am, um, then I would tell you either try like an like something like an Antlia Alp T um, or uh, the um, the uh, the Altairs, the four six um, nanometer dual bands, of, which are on backwater right now, but they're mm -hmm. they've been getting really awesome reviews um, and. They're they're boasting on their filter making, Dave. I don't know if you know this because I know you're a big Altair fan. They're yeah, both yeah. they're boasting on this right now. They, they're boasting right now, and I'm hoping they're right because they've been coming out with some real good stuff as far as filters are concerned. Um, on their new four and six nanometer dual band filters, they're saying that preliminary tests have come out to a 97 percent transmission that's awesome that's nice which means that 97 percent of the light that goes through that filter in those wavelengths are hitting your sensor that's pretty awesome and you know if they if they really i'm gonna i'm gonna I don't be thinking i'm gonna take my goya lab and i'm gonna go boom and i'm gonna test that out but i mean uh um you know that's uh well, you know, got, usually when you get a filter from them, they give you the printout from that they filter. They do. They, they do. But let's keep honest, honest, right? You know? Yeah, so, yeah. I agree. Yeah, that's cool. You know? Good idea. But um, but I'll be dead honest with you. Every single, every single, whether it was in Leah or um, Altair or anything, any filter maker that I've received that came with a graph was within very close to what I got to what they put on the sheet so um it's not a good practice to falsify those things because people will check um and i don't think anybody does but always nice to have a little check and balance and, and be curious yeah um so sean here ernest was saying check out the optolong l quad that's good for light um, pollution suppression. I put in. Um, I can't get it anymore. It's packed. The or the uh, the 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 new Altair RGB too. Oh yeah, yeah, that's like yeah. That's been getting real good reviews, but all those are great. The GMB is great. Um, that's their newest version of that D three filter, which yep. um, which I uh, helped uh, dilute the LED light bandwidth as well as well yep. as your mercury and was it mercury and sodium vapor lights if i remember right yeah um so uh you know that th those have been really good the gmb has been getting really good uh good reviews as well so i mean that there's a lot of good things right now you, you know all these filters and the technology of filters now that they're, they're they're allowing you to do <laughs> They're allowing you to do this one shot color with the light pollution and get these three different wavelengths in now. And just like, it's really kind of cool with the technology of the coatings that they have and what's going on yep. because it's, it's, it's a super exciting time to get into this stuff. It really is. It is. It is. 
it really, really is. So, so yeah, so you've got some suggestions here, um, Ernest. So the GNB, the L quad, the Altair, the, the Alp P, Alp T, the Alp T. So quite a few. Yep. I, I just got the, the Enlia quads also in. I just got, just got one or two of them back in. They've been going crazy too. So. Yeah. So you do have quite a good <laughs> choice there. Ernest has been a maniac recently. He's been uh, yeah. he's been looking at. It. He's trying to get all the information that he can, and it's cool to do. So so I that's mean, great. You know, Absolutely. definitely do your due due diligence and uh, ask the questions, man. Ask whatever you want. So mm -hmm. that's the only yeah. way you get good information, more or less. Sometimes we give you weird information. That's it. <laughs> yeah. You know, we we were talking about mounts last week. Yeah. And you go, you all, you guys know that I have, you know, this M60. So sometimes when you think about brand loyalty and making it easier for yourself, you usually think, okay, let's, I'm just going to go stick with the same brand and I'm going to, cause, it, cause sometimes it's so much easier, you know, to just stick with the same brand, but just upgrade to the next level. Right. Mm -hmm. But after we, we had a little bit of a conversation, Dan, and I am really intrigued about the EQ8, okay. the EQ8R, as well as the um, CQ350. Mm -hmm. Because the CQ350, it's still relatively light. It's only, I think, about 30 pounds yeah, is the like head. 30, 32, like, something like that. Yeah. 30, yes, somewhere around there. But you're getting 77 pound payload. payload but even for astrophotography your payload will end up being about 50. Well, you know if you will go by a two-thirds rule you know you'll probably yeah but get about 50 pounds you know what and i i've been finding out i guess more mm. so than not and just out of necessity that we're getting a lot closer to the payload number now that to the true payload. To the true payload. So if it says four, I mean, I'll be the first one to tell you, yeah, I, you should not do this. I have my EQ6R um, maxed out, like at 38 pounds. Mm -hmm. and I maxed mine out, and I found that the No guy problems, right? Is amazing. Yeah, I mean. And almost. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, mean it's, I think we're getting a lot more closer. it's balanced really well, it. Yep. it it yeah. you know yeah and that's the thing you know to you guys' point nowadays it, it's not like you know some of the sub thousand dollar mounts or twelve hundred dollar mounts like the avx you know the heq5 right. you know you know the smaller mounts where you know you might actually need to yeah consider going that two-thirds yeah of the Agreed. rated payload but the newer ones and the ones that are getting that are really touting a heavier payload and getting more of the observatory grade, especially recently, yeah, you can definitely get closer get to the ideal, get to the actual payload that you purchased. You know, you, you bought a 70 a 70 pound payload mount, you can actually start using set up to 70 pounds. Uh, you know, I mean, right. again, you, you you do want to be careful, and you always want to go by the manufacturer's recommendation. So don't take what we're, we're saying that, that you know, to take it from because of our experience that we've been doing these things, but also follow the recommendation of the manufacturer no matter what. Because if they're telling yeah. you that you know it's only like uh, the, you, the prime example is um, Paramount, they'll tell you um, what. For photographic, what for visual? Mm -hmm. Follow those recommendations. Don't you know you mm -hmm. want to test stuff on and go to the max capacity and try and knock yourself out, but we're not telling you to do that. That's all I'm saying. You know, yeah. always follow that. You know, you know it's kind of like yeah. one of those things. Like if you you saw my video on the on the eclipse, you know, to do what mm -hmm. I'm saying, don't not what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I, I literally had like the uh, the the the. the a, a solar filter that was three times the size of my lens hanging off the front. So, uh, you yeah. know, 
you really don't want to do that. You want to have something that yeah. fits correctly. Yeah, because I'm as the you know as the years get up here, you know, I'm getting closer and closer to saying, you know what, I'm just going to get, I'm going to probably just go to one telescope and get a, get the right scope that can do everything for me. So that's why I'm really thinking about an edge 11 and just getting a hyperstar and get a reducer and be done. Yep. Sell everything else <laughs> and just there or, but you know what? I take that back. I will hold on to my refractory because you never know when I'm going to travel somewhere, and I'm not lugging around an edge eleven cross country or somewhere. <laughs> Dude, if you yeah, sell that I'm refractor, that if you sell that same refractor again, ah uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt's at Neac. All right, good job, Matt. Ah, Matt's at Neac. Enjoy okay. tomorrow, man. Feel, yeah. feel free to swing by the, the you know, feel, feel, feel free to swing by on Friday and help set up. You know, you could be Eric. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. What, I mean, so with you, that, that 127 with all the stuff I have on it, the Eagle, the Alto, the Giotto, the... I know, the, Corin, you make know, up my mind. The, I can't make up my mind. The... the uh, what do you call it? The the night crawler. That's yeah. not a light piece. Of no. All that stuff on there, man. That's it that loads that EQ six up pretty good. I had to put the extra the the bar the extra length bar on it. Yeah, you had to extra, yeah. extra <laughs> weight on it. The bar is like ten <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, if I have good C, that thing tracks sub fifty arc seconds, sub sub point five. The hammer. <laughs> it works great. I'm telling you. What's up, Corin? What's up, buddy? So, but yeah, I mean, that Edge 11, if I get that, you know, if I do decide on whatever mount I'm going to be my forever mount, which I'm thinking it's going to be an observatory grade mount. Yeah. Either it's going to be the 350, the CQ 350, and you know what? That CQ 350 is priced pretty nicely at 2,800 bucks right now. It, it is. It is. It is. I actually saw the uh, the EQ 8R, the whole set. The RH. Yeah. It's yeah. It's actually got a nice price tag on it. Going. It's got a nice price so. tag too. Yep. You know, so maybe in a couple more NEFs, you know, maybe in two or three more NEFs, you know, when these NEF sales hit. Then maybe I'll go for it. Go I, I, I love I love my EQ eight. I really do. And I wish I used it more often. I just I've yeah, been ever since I've opened up this uh, this other side hustle. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, hey. and, uh, it, it, it's it's really been taking a lot out of my astrophotography time. Once I get a dome or something where I can close up and open it and that kind of stuff. I'm telling you, when, when I get uh, when I get Wayne on the line, I'm not going to do the. I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'm not going to do the pot ass because it doesn't suit me. Um, but I will get his plans for the sky shed, the sky shed shed, um, and uh, the roll off roof that he has, and I'll have um, our, our friends from uh, Dark Dragons uh, run the motor on it. There you go. So there you go. Yeah, get a roll off, then yeah, then you'll be set. Yeah, that, that, that's that, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll get the roll off. I'll make it fully automated, um, and then I'll just I'll be able to. I'll have two peers in there, and that's it. Done. Yeah. Because I was actually looking because before I got the pod, I did buy the um, Sky Shed plans, right? So I was actually looking at those again, just. Um, well, you know, just recently and like, maybe I'll do it sometime, you yeah. know, get the pot, you know, I'll, it, the pods are used pods. So maybe at some point when I'm getting closer and getting up there, I'll probably sell the pod. Maybe I'll just go ahead and just get a roll off because I don't know if I'm going to do an S, but at least with a roll off, because we all talk, you know, you'll get the whole horizon. 
you know, you'll get, I mean, you'll get the whole zenith. You'll get everything. So yep. who knows? Yeah. Um, the nice thing about a roll off. Too, I can't make them on my mind. Who knows? If you can make a big enough shed, you can have multiple rigs going at once. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly. my plan to have two up there. I'll have one long yeah. focal length. Like, uh, you know, if, it, if I'm putting a pier up there, I may even get an 11 um, and throw it on there. And then on my other one will, will be my Astrophysics 130. And on top yeah. of that, maybe uh, the FRA 400, you know. And, mm -hmm. right, right. and then I'll have three going. Yeah. yeah you know so what would be so what would be your, your your size would it be would you go like 18 foot or probably something like that probably. or be that yeah. big or it doesn't yeah. have to be that big um i mean even if it's yeah, like i a, mean that long you'd be like 18 foot maybe something that long it doesn't have to be know? that big 18 foot for two even an 11 inch you know what i mean you got to remember i'm not putting an l350 where i need all that all that space there you know what I mean? Right. If you take a look at my buddy, yeah. um, um, my buddy, um, uh, Jim out in, in mm -hmm. uh, Pepperidge uh, Observatory out on Long Island, he has mm -hmm. two rigs with one with an eleven, one with uh, you know a, a, a big um, what is it the, that that Riccardi Honda? Um, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's got that. And and that's I that, think, that cheap piece of junk. Yeah, that cheap piece of junk. Yeah, the, the AP uh, craziness. Um, but it it, it was uh, only what was it? It was um, I want to say it was ten by fifteen. I think it is something okay. like that. Yes. Okay. And that's it. And it's plenty of room to do everything for a whole little warm room and everything. That's right. cool. So that's cool. Yeah, because I was looking at a um on the plans I got, looking at a 10 by 12. And a 10 by 12 will, will I think will be fine for two. 10 years. by 12 will work too, depending on how long you're going. But you know, if you're you're doing yeah. like a, a five inch refractor and a in a nine to fourteen inch Schmidt. Schmidt, Yeah. You're gonna be then, fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah fine. I like how Luca Matico did his, where he has the main observatory room and then he built mm -hmm. like a small little studio room yep that he, he has that all his control equipment and everything like that and he's got his little studio yeah right out right next door it's, i like how he did that yeah. with it That's, is it kind of like a I, warm room I, no it's like a, his, stu his studio room is in his observatory that studio room yeah that oh in. okay where he does everything yeah that yeah. that yeah. i would love to do for me yeah you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it, that's it, actually it, really cool. Depending on how big our next backyard is, maybe I upgrade. That's a good idea. Maybe I upgrade to that 18-footer, right? Mm -hmm. And make a six-foot warm room. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then the other mm -hmm. 12 feet Your observatory room. Yeah. 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 It was cool how he did it, how it came out. It was like, wow, that's the way to do it. Yeah. No. Norm, I got my roll off for three eight for three ninety five plus six hundred for the slab and maybe two hundred bucks for lumber and hardware. I got my roll off for three and a half and a half plus six. Wow, um, <laughs> that, that makes you know that's probably about right. But you know what? Um, maybe I'm, when I'm a lazy one. one. I need somebody to build it. I need someone to build it. I'm not gonna yeah. do it. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean, six hundred for the slab. How long ago was that, Norm? Yeah, yeah. Concrete, how long ago? Was that? Not getting cheap. Concrete's getting expensive. It's, yeah, concrete's getting true. expensive. Lumber's expensive. So lumber's kind of. I was just off, looking, but, but concrete has two years ago. Two years. Two years ago. ago. Okay, so, wow. Yeah. So you can probably great prices. Eight. Fifty probably for that slab now, because yeah, because heck, I was looking at um just the lumber, putting the lumber off of uh, the plans I was looking at for the roll off. The lumber alone was like twenty five hundred, you know, for the different types of lumber that I that would require. I'm like, good lord! And well, I, again, I would again, I would have, I would get a contractor. I'd be like, here, here's the plans. And go do it. 
Yeah. yeah. That's Here's my gear. Do. Make yeah. sure it fits. Yeah. You know. Make sure it's level. Yeah. Make, give me Make another sure level. Me, actually, I would probably, I'd probably give them the two peers. You know what I mean? Even if I don't have a have a scope for it, I would have the second peer set up at that time yeah. and say, yeah. right. here's the other peer. Then all I need is, doesn't matter what mount I get, just get a peer plate from Star Zone yeah. or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And uh, have somebody make it from Dan's peer plates or, or whatever the case may be. And then throw whatever I want on it. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Just make sure that I have enough. If I have to go um, horizontally in a part position, mm -hmm. you know, or if I could go straight in a part position, that's mm -hmm. going to make uh, a, a difference. Because you got to remember you that even though you know you want to have enough room to point wherever you want, right? So, so you got to take a look and see. And measure even before you even get your I measure your scope, put it up on the mount that you have, and point it east, point it west, point it mm -hmm. south, and have that circular kind of space and add, you know, add a foot or so to yep. have that yep. extra space there so you don't have to uh, worry about, you know, collisions with another scope, collisions with a pier. Or a wall, wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. You know, so your flat panel, you know, you know whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but uh, you know, that, that, that's the kind of things you gotta keep into consideration when you're doing stuff like this. You're gonna be forking over a lot of money to do something like this. Then you want to make yeah. sure that it's you know, it, it's gonna fit what you're doing. Because if you yeah. have like a, a eight inch D and G refractor in there, um, as opposed to a red cat. <laughs> you know, you're gonna need a lot <laughs> less room than that. You know, so so maybe the 12 by 18 fits only that eight inch refractor. You know, right? Yeah, um, Ernest. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Double check your homeowner's insurance, all of that stuff, because I have State Farm, and I asked about my the pod. You know what would happen and stuff like that if tornado or whatever. Mine is actually going to be, even though it will be part of my homeowner's insurance. Yeah, mine you know, is covered. Too. Mine would be covered under the homeowner's insurance, but you definitely want to check all these. Things. Yeah, you want to make sure and you have we, enough uh, liability insurance or active God yeah, insurance yeah. or whatever it is. Yeah, active there. God. Um, you want to make sure you uh, have that. And you want to make sure that you get umbrella a policies. Yep, are great too. Mm -hmm. Umbrella policies yep. are yep. great too because it covers stuff like that. And, yeah, if you, if you, no matter what, you need definitely need some sort of protection. Um, you know, just don't throw stuff out there and just hope that it's okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, Eric, you had, you had a you had a thing last year. Um, yep. Where, where they uh, yeah. over. I had that personal property writer. Yep. You know, so and it was great. Yeah. They 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 uh they hooked you up. And it took care of you. Yep. 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 You made That's good. It. You know, so. Yeah, I have, I have an umbrella policy that covers all kinds of stuff like that. And it will cover, it'll cover, you know, if my golf clubs are stolen out of the back of my car. Well, my car insurance doesn't cover that. My car yeah. insurance doesn't cover that. Yeah. But that umbrella will cover it. If I hit and injure somebody on the golf course with a golf ball, my umbrella coverage covers that. Well, that's, that dude, if you do that, I want that on video. <laughs> <laughs> I want that on video. <laughs> I'm gonna put that on AFV, man. <laughs> but I mean, but if I broke if I broke somebody's window on a golf yeah, course, yeah. prove yeah. it. Yeah. Prove it was my ball. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah prove it with your ball. <laughs> prove, yeah. prove it was my my ball. I want Norm's Norm said he sent me an email, so let's see what. He, yeah. Norm Hughes shed. Uh, oh yeah, he said he actually sent this on. Um, on uh, Facebook, or maybe on, not Facebook, on um, Discord. I'll, I'll see if I bring this up real quick. And let's see if I can make a, a little bit small of a, of a picture, but let me see if I can zoom this up a little bit. There we go. All right. So this guy over here, and here, and then. Here we go, and here is here is uh, Norm's. Um, oh, that's cool. 
the roll off shed. Oh, he's got a roll away. That's not even a roll off. That's a you roll, got a roll away. away. Yeah, it's, a, oh, that's it's, cool. it's the roll off shed. Um, not roll off roof. Roll that's off cool. shed. And, that's a uh, roll away. <laughs> but you know what? It's it's a cool thing because you know you see the it whole is. shed goes right over. Now you know it, he's got a nice little uh, Paramount mount there with a, yeah, a big with a meat monster meat. Yep. Yeah. I think he said it was mm -hmm. a twelve, if I remember right. Um, look at all those counterweights. I mean, holy crap. <laughs> yeah. That's like, what, 80 pounds of counterweights at 22 pounds each, something like that? 88 pounds? That's I think crazy. he said the whole thing's 85. I think he said it was 85 pounds he's got on there. 85, 85. That's cool. That, that, that works out great. Yeah. Absolutely. He just has to remove the doors. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, there, there was there was one door on the side. It looks like. Yeah. Yeah. If I did something like that, that would be really cool, you know, because something like that is easy to build, right? You can definitely, you know, just get some wood, you know, some some ground contact wood, maybe on some um on some deck, you know, some deck pier blocks Yep. and get the uh, rolls, the garage you know, the rail garage or rolls, whatever, whatever those were, or the V, or the V tracks. Yep. And yep. just get all that stuff set up and then make it nice and smooth. And yeah, just push that out. Because if I did something like that, I would want to make sure that either the piers, you, you know, you want to measure everything out. So unlike, you know, um, norms, I would get double doors and then you have a double door um, shed, just open yep. it up. And then if it's the right height, then I can you push know, it just slide it push, away. Push, push it all the way out and have both piers right there and not have to worry about taking the doors off, you know. Yep. But hey, that works, man. That yep. works definitely. And I've seen a lot. I've seen quite a few of those, like in Pinterest and stuff like that. Yeah, I've seen them before, just a yeah. roll a walk, a roll away, you know, shed. Just push, forget the roof, just roll away the entire shed. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so, there you go. Yeah, now see, I can push that thing with one hand. That's awesome. <laughs> <That's awesome>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you can bench press five hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah. I was never able to do any of that ever. So here's, oh, here, I want to, you know, since, you know, of course, astrophotography, photography, want to share this. Uh, pick some time. Oh, that's you guys nice. can see that or not. It's not too bad for the Drake. This is the Draco Trio. Oh, it looks that nice, bro. So, yeah, colors are great. Thanks. You know, I'm thinking. I was thinking about maybe adding some more luminance, but who knows? You know, more data never hurts, right? More no. data never hurts, especially with galaxies, because yep. no, especially with swamp galaxies. That, so swamp that noise, you know? Yeah, yeah, and. This is no no darks because I was using a 533. So this is no darks. It's just my flat um, bias and the lights. Nice. Which is really and, nice, and, you know. And there's nothing I'm wrong with this. You know, you know, if you're doing it from home, there's nothing wrong with using some HA for your luminance as well. You know, that's what I'm thinking is I'm probably going to do some HA because I'm pretty sure I can get a little bit of HA into here. At least into this spiral. So that's another thing I was thinking about, definitely. That looks really good, man. That's a nice job so far. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so far, so good. Any light pollution filters on that one? What are you using for light pollution? Uh filters? no, that's that's all um no, no, no light pollution oh, filters. Data, right? LRGB. Yeah. I'm sorry. Mono data. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is all mono LRGB, and I've got you know, and I have Bortle Five Skies, and this was all during like that the new moon week. So, yeah. Oh, even better. Yeah. yeah. This is all good. You know what? I like. I I actually like the 533 with a Schmidt because of it being that one inch sensor. I get it gives you that feeling. Excuse me. I get more reach. I mean, I get more magnification that I couldn't that I wouldn't be able to get with like the 2600 or other types of um, cameras. Nice. I just get a much narrower field of view, which is why I like pairing the 533 with a Schmidt. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, one of the things about, you know, the Schmidt is if you don't have it perfectly collimated, and I'm also bending, you know, so they seem a little softer and they're not pinpoint, you know, when you never bend to. I oh, the usually stars, you my mean? yeah yeah the stars my yeah. um full weight half max is usually um around four okay. for my stars yeah. yeah I found that with my because. Uh, my RC was like that because I'd be bidding with that and yeah it was like the high threes low fours for yeah my, uh, HFM yeah yeah yeah. One day I'll I'll delve back into the Schmidt land. One day, yeah. I was talking to somebody that that, that was going back and forth between a Schmidt and a Newt, and uh, um, wanted something that, that wanted something with a little more reach, and wanted a thousand millimeters or so. And it's that's a, a huge Newt. What thousand millimeters? Yeah, that's twelve. That's ten inch quadro. Take okay. it easy, Ernie. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. That's ten inch quattro. It's it's big and it's you know all nudes are big and bulky and you know that's it is. But he has the mount to carry it. That's not the problem, um, you know. But uh, he's like, but you know the the price point of a ten inch quattro as opposed to a you know an eight inch Schmidt, it's about half the price. <laughs> well, yeah, but your yeah. focal length. The focal, the focal length, length is, is half sure. also. The focal length is half also. Yeah. But so it's not a galaxy hunter, in my opinion. That's not what he's looking for. He just mm -hmm. wanted so he wanted something a thousand. He wanted somewhere about a okay. thousand millimeters. But he didn't want he didn't want a big refractor because you know getting a thousand millimeter refractor, um, you know, obviously is not really in the in, you know it's not outside the realm of things, but not in his budget. Um, you know, because okay. you think about like that he was she was talking 120 a spree. And I was like, oh, yeah, well, 120 or 127 and stuff. 120 a spree is nice. It's, it'll get you close to a thousand. Um, and then uh it's it's it, you know, I, I like I like my I, the quattro's put in you know, the, the, Sean's been using the star fields too. Um mm -hmm. and <laughs> that's been great. Um again, you know, you got collimation. I think people I think people kind of make collimation seem a lot harder than what it really is. Um, unless if you're talking RCs, you know, uh, mm -hmm. because RCs can be, as Dave will attest to, uh, a, yeah. a pain They're in the tricky. butt until you get it down. They're um, tricky. They're just tricky. Yeah, you because know, you're taking yeah. practice. Yeah, well, because you're collimating mm -hmm. now three things, not two. Um, yeah, no. You know, so it, it yeah. makes things a little bit different, difficult. Uh, but um, I, 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 listen. I used an 80. Ron Breacher used a 150 Esprit, and that's mm -hmm. unbelievable. But it's $6,500. Uh, if you know, it's a lot of money. Um, yeah. The S127. I've had two of them. Ron, actually, uh, Dave's got one. Um, yes, I do. Um, the only thing I would say about the 127 is like the the, the back focus of it it's like you got to add a lot to it sometimes um right dave you did that you found yeah that it now, sticks right? out pretty good yeah, you, yeah. You, 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 it will take it's out. way more than 55 millimeter oh my god 
I, I'll show you. I'll show you the. Uh, I think. I think I'm at with with the current setup I have. I'm probably closer to seventy five millimeter. Yeah, I'd say something and, like that. And it, but it's but it, I've got it set. It's perfect. And, oh yeah, I, once I, you get it, that's good. And you you can sit there. And, oh yeah. You can sit there and take out your kneecaps with them. I'm telling you, but uh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you can. You I can. had to get the. Well, I got I had to get the extension for my EQ6 because yep. I was like, oh yeah, there's no way this thing's got to sit up a little higher. Yep. Yeah. He he can definitely get a Mac um, as well. The the 190 is nice. Uh, but he didn't want to. He didn't yep. want to get because uh, the max. You got to remember, the, the the max will get you the full really length. They they are. They're really they're really slow. They, they can F12, be really slow. Like F twelve, F fifteen. You know, it goes even yeah. higher sometimes. Um, and yeah. uh, it's those are really, in my opinion, are really good for planetary. Um, yes. You know, planetary and solar. You sit there and get a F fifteen or F twelve with a two X Barlow, and then you're at F twenty four. I mean, which is kind of like a nice area to be when you're doing planetary. And uh, yeah, I think one of the things that drew me to the RC was no need for a coma corrector or a flattener. Once it's collimated, you get a yep. nice big flat field all the way across. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So the one thing about one the Mac drew is, me to the RC. Yeah. Yeah. The one the one thing about the Mac is is that you don't have to worry about collimating. Um, you really Realistically, you really don't. But yeah, you if you don't have a flat field, that's for darn sure. You don't have a flat field, but it's great for planetary. You don't really need yeah. need that necessarily. You know, a, a, a couple planetary. of things with Max too. I mean, it, you know, uh, one of the things with Max is just take a look at the rear cell of the Mac. Now, depending on the mm -hmm. the Mac that you get. It could be a really random rear cell size that to, when you're getting attachments and stuff like that. So, so it's not your normal two inch kind of adapter like a Schmidt cast screen could be. It's a little smaller um, yeah. usually on some of them. Now, some of them have the right ones where everything is fine, but just just take a look at that. Do you do diligence when you buy a Mac? And if you get a really cheapy Mac. Um, like, 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 I'm not going to mention names, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. they, they have oh, like this my little, little Mac. they have this little like paper mirror on the other side and the little plastic little kind of wannabe secondary kind of slides on because <laughs> the glue is not good. Um, so you got to no. take, the, oh, it's, it's bad. There's, there's some real bad ones out there. So if you're going to buy a Mac, buy one that's reputable and. And then the, the 190 MN is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about some really, you know, sub $300 or $400 Max, you know. Yeah. Because I've got a Mac. Well, I still have my Mac 102, um, my Celestron Astro 5 Mac 102, but I haven't really used that thing yeah. in forever. I've had, I've had, I think, four Explore Scientific Scopes. I've had two 127s. I've had two 80s. I'm five. I've had a 102 as well. And um, they've all been great. The optics have never been an issue with Explore. Never, ever. Whether it's the FCD1s, which I've had. I've had the FCD100s. Mm -hmm. And I've never had a problem with whether it's collimation, pinched optics, um, Anything. I've never had a problem with any of them. So that's one good thing. And then if there ever was a problem with it, I am sure, 100% sure, that Explore would take care of you. <laughs> so so um, they're, they're known for that type of customer service. Uh, and, uh, you know, I've had customers that have had pinched optics, not many, uh, but turn around a couple of weeks and they fix it. They put it on the workbench in, uh, um, in, uh, Ar what is it, Ar Ar Arkansas or Arkansas or whatever they call it. <laughs> whatever they call it then, you know, they put it on the workbench there. Arkansas. And, yeah. <laughs> and they, uh, they, they throw it there and they set it up and they either, if they can't fix it, they give you a new one. If they fix it, they send it back. One thing. That I'm gonna try. Chris had mentioned this that he bends, he does a he bends too. Um, and he drizzles also drizzles by two. 
and he gets his stars around two and a half to three. Okay. Now, Chris, what scope do you have? Because I don't recall what him saying which scope he uses. A nine twenty five. A nine point two five. Okay. I think. That's oh yeah. What he said okay. He used. okay. Because if that's the case, I think I'll even run it again. We're gonna run my um redo this um Draco trio. Oh he's using he Trillo. says edge eight too. Oh, he's, he's using eight. He's using edge eight. Okay. He's using yeah. eight or two. So, so I'm definitely thing. gonna give that a shot. I'm just gonna I'll reprocess it, um this Draco and I'll bin it, you know, because it's been two, but I'll drizzle it to you know by two as well and see how that comes oh, out. Oh, oh, sorry, Ernest. Yeah, that's one of the ones I was talking about, Ernest. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> that's that's one of the yeah. ones I was talking about. Yeah, that that was notoriously a bad the, scope. Even the older ones where you had to kind of, in order for you to align it, you had to turn it all the way to the dead stop and then turn it a half away mm -hmm. back so it wouldn't bash into the hard stop. Um, oh God! The, 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 it wasn't really a great thought out model. The, what made that the ETX 125 great it was the portability of it, because you put everything in a backpack, and you know it had a tabletop uh, tripod kind of thing, and it, it, it was yeah. good. You could get some good views while you were camping. You know that's what it was. That's what it was catered to. Um, and then what happened? People started deforking them and using them for guide scopes. They were using a 125 for guide scopes. Oh, really? Wow. I swear to God. But. Yeah, hi, Pep. All right, well, you got me on uh, um, 30 minutes longer than what I thought. <laughs> Real quick, where do you where do you set drizzle on um, Picks Insight? Uh, you could do it in WBPP, or you yeah, could do it. In yeah, you could do it in WBPP, or you could do it manually, and uh, it's it's in your uh, in your lights, if I remember right. It's on the it's on the right side. It says drizzle and drizzle two x. Um, hold on, let me just share it here real quick. So, because like I said, I want to try this because I've never I've never drizzled honestly. I usually I usually did it manually if it needed it. Um, okay, so, so here are the lights. Uh, go under uh, what is it? Uh, image integration, I think, on the bottom. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So I'll say, oh, let's see. Oh, no, it is under lights. That's what I thought. All right, so it's under the lights. Go under lights. Uh, yeah, get out of that. Where the hell is it? Is it under normalization? No, no, it's not under normalization. Maybe registration. Where the hell is it? I don't remember. Go to post calibration, see if it's there. There it is. Ah, uh, there it Physical is. configuration. There it is. So you enable that okay. and do whatever you want to do. Just yeah, remember just that it adds quite time. a lot to uh, to your time. That's fine. Yeah, it's going to take an extra 30, 40 minutes for it to do that. Yep. <laughs> but it definitely mm -hmm. it's worth the uh, effort because it it does make a difference, okay. and it makes blur blur X makes a big difference. You can really pounce, you know, pull back the star size. Gotcha. Okay. So you can pretty much keep everything else the same: function, square, all that stuff. Yep. Uh, you, you can do square. You can do gas and two. Um, so uh, yeah. One of the guys. Uh, yeah, one of the guys from Masters Pixel Site. Says he uses Gaussian. I've tried it both ways. I, I don't think I've seen a difference either way.
and you got the master flats, all that stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'll just run it. Sweet. Right on. Now, in case anybody cool. is interested, I just got a message from uh, Starfield. For the two days of Neve, they're also doing a 10% sale off on any Starfield. Nice. I got, literally got that right now. So I know a lot of people have been asking me about the uh, the Gear 60. Let's see. Where is it? Starfield. Gear 60 is now going for, instead of 1050, it's going for 945. So there you go. What's that? The Gear 60. Square I have a couple of questions about that. Okay. All right, fellas. I yeah, go I'm to still gonna. I'm still, I'm still waiting. You know, let me know when you get that. Or when you get those Apollos, in, or I'm just gonna talk to you offline, and we're just gonna pull the trigger. Yeah, the, the, the orders made. I just gotta. I told them don't sh ship it till after Neve. So, because I got a couple. I'm gonna. I, I don't want to make a small order now and then find out what I sell at Neve, and then I'm gonna have to make another order. So you know, it's just it's just one of those things. One thing, oh shoot! The one thing I am gonna need to order from you once I get the Apollo, when before you send me Apollo, add on to the order is the um, adapter for the filter wheel, so I can use the ZWO filter wheel. Because the there's adapter. an adapter. There's a layer. You know, like, there's an adapter for that you can put on, so you can attach a ZWO filter wheel to a Player One camera. Well, what's the what's the thread size of the filter wheel for CWO? Isn't it M fifty four? It's it's the screw. It's it's where it's where the screws are. It's how everything is lined. You know, so it's not. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You're screwing it directly. Oh, you're bolting it. You're yeah. Oh, you it. need. The, I got yeah. you. I got yeah. you. I, I understand what you said. I know which one you're talking about. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe they'll yeah, bring some of Give Gives yeah. you another reason to come to Neef. Yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I'll be, I'll be, all, I'll be hobbling like this, you know. I'll be this hobbling and hobbling. Oh, precious! Like, oh my egg! Oh my back! Oh my back! Oh my egg! <laughs> oh my precious! Dude, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like, I'll be like uh, Fred Sanford. Be like, Elizabeth, come to Johnny, baby. Oh my back! Oh my egg! Oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> What was that? What show was that? The um, Sanford 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 Sanford. 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 He, <laughs> we, we, I'll never forget the one that he said, Red Fox. He said, he said, man, you are so ugly. I can take your face smashings and dough and get gorilla cookies out of them. <laughs> Lamont, you big dummy. <laughs> you big dummy. Lamont, you big dummy. That's fine. Now, now, was that was that was that a a throw off from um, all in the family? Because Lamont, no, that was, no, was the, that, that was the Jeffersons. That was the Jeffersons. Was all in the family. The but, Jeffersons were were Archie no, Parker, but Lamont was an all in the family. I think. Yeah, but. It may have been. I like think so. I don't, I don't know if they were direct spinoffs. I don't know if they were direct spinoffs, but I, I'm pretty but sure they may have had some intertangled. Yeah, I know. I know the the Jeffersons were a spinoff of All in the Family. That I know. Used to be neighbor. Yeah. Right. Maybe maybe it was Cheek was was Chico and Amanda Chico and spinoff. The man? A spinoff of uh, Sanford and Son. I'm not sure. Or they, they both were kind of occasionally Lamont. Yeah, no, we're all telling our, telling our ages now. Or they, yeah, God knows we're old. Mm-hmm. Yep. We're old. All right, guys. So, well, some of us, some can. of us need a cane. I got a hurricane. Look at that. It's a hurricane. Oh, look at that. It's, yeah. 
I I might I, I I was wrong but right. So Le, Lamont the actor Demond Wilson was in <laughs> was in All in the Family but he played the part of a burglar in season 2. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. So no relation then. No relation to Lamont. Although he was in there. Yeah. Although he he did he was he did act in it. Okay. He did act in it for one episode. Oh my god, it's four four now. I can't take it. Oh, oh my Lordy. god, I gotta go turn that game on. Six minutes left. Oh man. One minute it was one one, now it's four four. Oh goodness. This is That's saying it's out. this so I gotta show you pictures. The 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 Score box says five four, but the screen says four four. So is it five Let's four four four? It's five five four Islanders. But but the screen I'm seeing four, says four 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 four, 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 four forty seven left five four Islanders. I'm oh, they must go. score here because. Uh, I guess I'm Brock behind. Maybe I'm behind. Scored. What are you? Your serious? buddy Brock Nelson just oh. scored. Oh, there it is. I just saw it. I just saw it. No, it was uh it looked like it was um Holmstrom, looks like. No, it says Brock Nelson here. Uh maybe he tipped it, but maybe yeah. Uh yeah, it says Holmstrom was the uh, primary assist. Yeah, it looks like he tipped it. So it must have been a tip in. Oh no, you see they're doing a replay now. I I hate Brock Nelson. You know what's a bummer? Brock Nelson scoring. Yeah, besides you know that, what? That, at least you know, you Cindy, know that Cindy Cindy Crosby doesn't have a goal at least. That uh that player no, one I, it was home from all the way. That rear, that rear tilter for player one, it won't fit on a ZWO camera. No nope. really, because nope. it's kind of got the square yep. because the player nope. ones are kind of square, yep. aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Well, 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 no, 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 no. The, 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 the toe plate is actually circular. It fits on a square camera, yeah. which makes the ball yeah, pattern the differently. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame. Well, I guess I got to figure. Out. Maybe I'll have to take. <laughs> well, I think my, CWO um, CWO does make a a the, tilt. Now they do. Yep. But they do. Yeah, and a I've tilt, got one. It's, tilt? it's no, that's the. But the problem is, it's just the same size as the camera body itself. Which, so it's like you see, yeah, goes see that's right, what I'm saying. You gotta, which goes right against that your um, no sense. How how are you expected to adjust the tilt if it's all onto if it's flush with the camera body? I, I can't help uh, you. You know with what? That. It's I, I, I don't get it. So that's why I'm going to have to end up using this guy. Yep. You know my Gerd Newman. Yep. You're but, better. You're yeah, better yeah, off like anyway. Another, that's going to be better gonna made come. than anything that ZWO comes out with anyway. So well, yeah, sure, but the it's going to add on another is... 17 inches. But it's, I mean, 17 millimeter. Uh, back it's on the 17, focus. 17 yeah. millimeter. Yeah. Back yep. focus. Yeah. So it won't work very well unless I take off my OAG and go back to a guide scope. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So so, so if you want to go to an uncooled camera, it looks nice. The, the, the ZWI tilter. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Why could they make that's this great, one a little right. bit bigger? Well, that's the whole thing. And just just broaden it out. I really, really space. don't understand. How how do you expect, if you're using a filter wheel or anything like that, to adjust your tilt? And not to mention the fact See, that... this that, is don't a you, question don't I you, ask don't you with the, uh, every day. When I work on cars and go, how the hell do they expect you to get to this? Well, don't, don't right. you also, right. don't you, you also, like if you have a, a filter wheel on there, don't you have to disassemble the camera to kind of do it now? You got to take yeah. it off. The, you you got to take that, a picture, take the yeah. camera off, make an adjustment, put the That's camera back on. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'm going to end up just going ahead and using, you know, I've got my little m42 to m48 ring you know adapter yeah, here yeah. slap that sucker on and yeah do that 
you know, I'm, I'm selling that's my, got the, that's got the uh, screws in the side, right? Yep. They go in the side. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. This one has yeah. the screws yeah. I've all got, on the side. Yeah, that's right. That's that's the one I have too. And I tried using that, but it made my back focus too far. And I yeah, got it is thick. Right. Is that's thick. what I'm like, saying. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to have to take off my Celestron OAG, you know, and put on a, um, and put a guide scope on. Well, don't even, now don't, the don't problem talk to me is, about back focus with that Celestron OAG. I mean, that, that big. Yeah, that thing's huge. That thing's, that thing's huge. Dude, it takes up like right. 30 millimeters of dead space just to put the thing yeah. on. Yeah. So now then I'm going to have to spend like if I use this with my 2600, I'm going to end up, you know, having to use buy a, um, a rotator. It's been another 50 bucks on like a blue, like one of the um, blue fire, the, um, the camera. Yeah, the blue. Yeah. Going to have to end up getting a CCA or a blue or a um, well, the William Optics manual or something. Something, yeah. something. You know, I've, I've given up it. on fight and tilt. Yeah. Blur exterminator works yeah. good. <laughs> <laughs> it takes care of tilt. <laughs> it takes care of it. The tilt fixer. There you go. Yep. Yeah, it does. Go. All right, fellas. Well, I got to get something to eat because yep. I'm going to faint. Um, All right, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, congratulations to the Capitals for making it into the playoffs. Um, yes. And, uh, Hopefully we'll oh, see wow. you guys in a couple weeks. Uh, you never know. You never know, right? You just if, gotta get if past. you guys get through the first round and we do, then we're lined up to play each other. Questions. If I get a color wheel, will I still need a light pollution filter along with the other filters? Yes, because you're using one-shot color. So even if you get a dual-band filter, when you go broadband, you're going to need a light pollution filter as well. Correct. Cool. So you're definitely going to need that. You're going to need some sort when you go regular broadband imaging. <coughs> you're going to need a light pollution, whether the um, the tri RGB from Altair, the quad, uh, the L quad from Optolong, or the uh, the the quad from Aunt Leah, which is you know all that kind of stuff. So you can get any of those. Yeah. 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 I'll try, Tom. But you're not coming, so I'm not going to make anything. So. Ah. <laughs> uh... All right, everybody. Everybody have a great night. Um, if you're going yeah. to Neve, look forward to seeing you there, Eric. I better see you there. Please, please do anything you can. Even if you got to crawl onto the plane, I just need you. To... <laughs> I'll do my best, brother. You know I am. I know you, know you I am. And, and listen, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll get you a nice shot of Louis the Thirteenth if you come. Okay. So, there you go. Ooh, yeah, that'll, 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 that'll get me nice and listen. If, and done if and you could me, find me a bar in Mawa, New Jersey, that has it. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 all right, fellas. Thank you so much, right, Dave. Guys. Again, congrats, Have Eric. Fun. I hope Have you fun feel this better. And, uh, Thank you, brother. Hope everything goes well. Sounds good, everybody. Yeah. Everybody, have a great night. If you're coming to Neve, I'll see you there. Hopefully, Eric, Eric will see you there too. And we'll see you on Saturday morning at Neve. All right, everybody, yeah. have a great night. Take care as always. And Peace. keep imaging, keep educating, and clear skies. And we'll see you on Saturday. Peace out. Peace.